good morning everyone uh this is Sandra. welcome to my channel i hope you have enjoyed some of the things i've put on i'm new to this so just bear with me um i have a token here it's a magnet goes on your refrigerator it says never doubt what one prayer can do and that's so true in our life if we pray the lord will always answer it may not be what we want but it will be what he knows is best for us um if you're lost and don't know the lord you know you need to to get saved before it's too late uh there's you know times are drawing near to the end of the world and if you're lost and don't know jesus you know if you want me to pray with you message me i'll pray with you um i can direct you to our pastor he would pray with you no matter where you're at in this world but i'm going to read this kid's book this morning it's a bible reader and it's got noah's ark gideon's battle and queen esther if i can turn the pages i'll read it long ago there lived a good man named noah god loved noah other people were not good they did bad things to one another god decided to flood the earth to stop the bad people god gave noah a plan god said make a big boat take food and your family inside i will send you birds animals and every creature i am going to make a flood but i will keep you safe noah asked noah loved god and did what he asked noah built a big boat called an ark he put his family inside they put all the food they would need on the ark then god sent the animals to noah noah put them on the ark then rain fell for 40 days the earth flooded noah took care of the animals they lived on the ark for almost a year god kept his promise they were all safe god sent the wind to dry up the water it took a long long time for the water to go down noah kept waiting for dry land then one day god spoke to noah god said come out of the ark now bring the birds animals and creatures he said then god made a new promise i will not flood the earth again when people are bad god said see my rainbow it is a sign of my promise and god put a rainbow in the sky to promise us that he would never do, never send a flood to us gideon's battle a man named gideon heard an angel gideon said the angel god is with you he wants you to save his people gideon said how can i my men are farmers not fighters the angel said you can fight gideon asked the lord how do i know you want me god show me a sign is it you talking to me god showed gideon signs god showed gideon signs gideon believed gideon called his men meet by my by the water we will fight our enemy many men came god saw all the men you have too many god said keep only 300 men gideon did what god said he told his men to get in line gideon gave each man a horn he also gave each man a jar and a torch gideon said now we are ready gideon led his 300 men they circled the enemy camp gideon said do what i do i will blow my horn then you blow your horns then yell for god and gideon the men blew their horns toot they yelled for god and gideon they broke the jars crash they lit their torches the enemy ran crying god helped gideon save his people queen esther esther was a pretty young girl the king was looking for a bride will you be my wife yes i will be your queen esther was happy but soon her cousin mordesia spoke to her mordesia had raised esther he was like a father to her he said go ahead and marry the king but keep it a secret that you are one of god's people promise me 
she promised. A man named Haman worked for the king. Haman asked the king, the king to make a law. The law said that everyone that had to blow horn, blow, excuse me, the law said that everyone had to bow down to Haman. He tricked the king into passing this law. Then Haman said, if someone doesn't blow, doesn't bow down, let's get rid of them. The king agreed. Mordecai heard about this. He wanted to blow on, wanted to bow only to God. So did his cousin and God's people. Esther prayed the king would understand. She made a meal. Haman was invited. Then she went to the king. He was happy to see her. Please come to dinner, Esther said. Later, Esther said, Please save my people. Her husband asked, Who would hurt them? Esther pointed to Haman. So the king got rid of Haman. Esther bravely saved her people. The end. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope the kids enjoy it. It'd be really good for a nighttime bedtime story. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Have a good day. God bless and bye bye.